Hello everybody. How it's going? Today I have prepared for you a very interesting walk. Also quite highly requested. Um, we will start again from Italian Gardens in Hyde Park. But uh, this time we're going to continue left to Base Waters, uh, Notting Hill and uh, Portobello Market. And also, if possible, I'm going to try to do some of the side streets there because they're also quite nice and interesting to see. And yeah, the weather again is very, very warm and nice. It's about 12 degrees, maybe more. And uh, it's similar to the previous few days, like no wind, only sunny, no even clouds. And also, because today is Saturday, I thought it's going to be even more interesting to see uh, Portobello Road Market. Uh, like uh, we did last week, uh, we, we visited uh, the Borough Market, which was also very, very busy. And uh, now I just wanted to check uh, what's the situation in uh, Portobello Road Market. Hi, Wainis, how is going? Hi, Rosalind, and hi, uh, Nilesh, nice to see you back. So, this is the Italian Gardens. Quite a uh, nice place. So, what is it? It doesn't see, say from which year it is, but probably it's very old. Oh, nice, nice. Today is going to be a very interesting walk. As I noticed, usually the Saturday and Sunday walks are quite busy because everybody is outside. And now we are still in Hyde Park. But uh, as I said, we are going to head now to Bayswater and uh, Notting Hill and Portobello Road Market. And maybe we can even uh, reach to Shepherd's Bush. We will see. Yeah, not officially, but, but actually people uh, have always been allowed to go outside in the park. Hi, Elisaveta Najinova. I guess you are from Bulgaria. Greetings to Bulgaria, I'm also Bulgarian. Happy Praia. Yeah, of course, I'm quite active here. Okay, so this is uh, the Lancaster Gates entry to Hyde Park. And this is the Lancaster Gate Station. This is underground, it's uh, served by the Central Line. And this road here leads to Hyde Park Corner and Oxford Street. And this road here leads to Paddington. Paddington Station and uh, Hyde Street. So, I'm going to take this road here. Yes, uh, Nilesh, as many times we've discussed it, the masks are not required to be uh, worn outside. It's only on public transport. Hello, the champion. How is it going? I actually did a pre-recorded video in this area a few days ago. 
but uh, I deleted it because I wasn't uh, happy with the results. And so I decided to do a live stream. Maybe it's gonna be better. Hi Con, nice to see you back. Yeah, the weather is beautiful. It's like above 12 degrees, maybe a bit more, I'm not sure. Hi Dave from Manchester. How is the weather in Manchester? And this is Base Water Road here, as you can see. It's still part of the uh, city of Westminster. But uh, if you continue, uh, I think you're gonna end up in Kensington eventually. And here most of the buildings on this road and the surrounding uh, small roads are hotels. Because this is very touristic area. And this next to me here on the left is uh, Hyde Park. How is everybody doing? <laughs> oh, Miro, Costa. Yeah, here one friend uh, <laughs> is is texting me. Very funny. Oh look, here, here we see, uh, I think it's a gothic style church or cathedral, I'm not sure, but it looks amazing. This has probably been one of the highest uh, points at some point in history, because I think, was it here or was it in Germany, uh, at some point? The churches, uh, always, and the cathedrals, they always have been the highest buildings in the city. And nothing else was allowed to be higher than the, the church and the cathedral uh, roof or dome. So, most probably, this event at some point was probably one of the highest buildings in London. And it looks pretty old. Oh yes, definitely. I also cannot wait. I had so many plans for this year to do international travel and do uh, videos in other countries. But uh, maybe my plans will have to wait until next year. So again, I think this is a hotel here. And look at this magnificent white building with uh, exotic trees outside. So, 
Yeah, yeah, it's very nice. Once we reach to Queensway and uh, Bayswater, I will turn right and uh, just uh, cover the high street of Queensway and Bayswater. I think it's interesting to see and then maybe I'm gonna do some of the side streets until we reach to Notting Hill. Hi Artu, Parmar, how are you? I think this time the live stream is a bit earlier than normal and uh, our other friends from United States haven't joined yet. They usually join about 2 to 3 p.m. Uh, London time, but probably it's too early now for them. How's off? How is going? Oh, greetings to Leeds. I haven't been there yet. Maybe I will visit one time, one once, one day. Hi Ugur, how it's going? Oh, so India time is perfect, 6 p.m. It's just uh, about right. So, this used to be a Petrol station, it's called Tiso, Kensington Gardens. But I'm not sure what happened. They are closed. But for what? Oh, it's interesting because they say uh, they're going to be back once uh, essential shops open. But I think the petrol station was considered. An essential shop, so I'm not sure why they closed. Uh, I don't know, it doesn't say. Yeah. But uh, usually it's, I don't know, about one, po one pound 15 or one pound 20, something like this. Uh, I don't drive here, so I have no idea. And here now we have some new building being built here. Hi, hi Moot of Mona Lisa, how is it going? Uh, okay, so I have one plan. Let's we're gonna cover the high street of uh, Queensway and uh, Bayswater, but uh, we're gonna come up first from this road and then turn left because this one was closed. So we're gonna go the opposite way, but no worries, uh, I'm on track. 
Oh, you're welcome, uh, Camila. Hope you enjoy this one. It's going to be very interesting. We're going to Portable Road uh, Market. Have you been in this area here? So we see very, very beautiful houses and apartments. I bet they are very expensive. Hi, buddy. Greetings, Toxford. Hi, Lynn. And hi, uh, Quentin. Yeah, it's nice. This is uh, the residential area. But now I'm going to show you the kind of the commercial part of it and the high street. Hi Adriana, uh, Centeno, greetings to Argentina, uh, oh yeah, Rosen, this is Porsche area. Sorry. Okay, so we're gonna look, uh, walk down furthermore, and eventually we're gonna turn left to join the high street. Here we have a hotel. This is a hotel. It's, uh, it's, it also has some kind of uh, vegan restaurant as well. It's called Coffee 41. So not all buildings here are residential only. Some of them are hotels as well. And here we have Hyde Park Green. Probably not a hotel. So what I noticed, and uh, now I know that not all areas in London have the same uh, quality of internet connection, mobile internet connection. Uh, because yesterday in Hampstead, I had the worst connection so far. And uh, I noticed also... Uh, let me help them. Here you go. I noticed also that uh, Central London is mostly good connection and also because <clears throat> yesterday for about two hours uh, I used only about two gigabytes of my data which is nothing I usually use about six or eight for two hours, two hours and a half so definitely this is a sign that uh, the bitrate was low very very low that's why uh, the, the low usage of uh, data. And in some central London areas, I used once about 8 gigabytes just for two hours and a half. 
Okay, so we are turning left now to join the high street of Queensway and Bayswood. Uh, hi, Robert. Good morning to Pennsylvania, United States, and good afternoon to Christopher Butler. Oh, then I don't know. Maybe they maintain them, like uh, they just redo the paint often. But uh, yeah, uh, in general, it's very well maintained. Uh, yeah, they are connected with some kind of uh, phone. It's a private company that operates the phones. Uh, let me cross there on the shadow because uh, here again the sun is nothing going to be visible for you. So I'm going to try to hide behind the shad uh, shadow. So in order to get a... Uh... Oh, okay, so now it's better. Oh, thank you, St uh, Stein or Stein. I'm not sure. Yeah, it's been uh, like a few nice days in a row, but uh, I think in, on Wednesday it's going to be raining a little bit. But uh, that doesn't stop us from doing live streams, right? Because in London, even if it rains, it's nice and people still want to watch it. Actually, one of my best live streams was uh, one, uh, when I did the live stream in the rain. So definitely, even if it rains, it just doesn't mean anything. I can still do a live stream, no problem. Thank you, Matar. <laughs> yeah, Tony, yeah. So this is base water station. And I think it's served by district and circle line. And, and probably central line, I'm not sure. Oh no, I think this is only district and circle line. So as you see, this commercial area looks a bit busy. Here we have some uh, restaurants, souvenir shop is closed. Here we have some other restaurants, Taste of India, uh, Indian restaurant. And here another gifts and souvenirs is closed. But uh, it's strange because I've seen some are open. So maybe it depends what you sell exactly inside. Because some souvenir shops they sell food and drinks as well, so maybe this one doesn't, and it's not considered essential. And here we have some other restaurants are open. Sounds like a club house. This is a Russian and Eastern European uh, market uh, shop. Computer market. 
Uh, hi, David. I'm going to Notting Hill and uh, Portobello Road Market. Uh, it depends, then I can continue also to White City. Hi, Chris. How is it going? And here we have uh, like a ice drink and bowling uh, venue. I've been here once, it's very nice. They, they drink and eat and play go uh, no golf, sorry. Uh, you play uh, bowling. And here we have the Queensway Underground Station. This is now served by the Central Line. Here we have a Chinese restaurant. Surprisingly, it's closed usually. They are open. So that's Queensway Station. Central Line, yeah. And now we're going to Notting Hill. That's a Hilton Hotel. Uh, I will try on the next one, if I see another telephone boot. Yesterday I found one, but uh, it was very dirty. Usually they are very dirty, all of them. But uh, I will try. Yeah, that's because they are not required outside. Otherwise, 99% of the people they wear it when it's required uh, on the public transport. Yeah, actually I did. <laughs> I've just finished uh, base water. Now I'm going to Notting Hill. But uh, it's okay, this live stream, you can uh, go back in the video. It's not like uh, locked, it's just to the, to the life moment. So here we have uh, a window cleaning process. And some nice side street. Maybe I can join this side street. Hmm. Yeah, what do you think? Should I join the street here? Yeah, maybe. Let's see what's going on here. Actually, I need to buy a compass <laughs> because I find it much easier to navigate just using the compass uh, instead of uh, looking at my Google Maps all the time. Because I have a general idea, for example, that I need to head now first uh, west and then east, uh, no, and then north. So we are now walking north, this one I know for sure. But uh, sometimes I lose orientation and it's going to be much quicker if I just have a compass. Because when I do live stream, I, I try to improvise. So the most important thing is the direction. So if I'm going north and even if I just 
randomly pick the streets. Uh, I think it's still good. Uh, Quills, uh, no, I'm using uh, Samsung Note 8, but uh, I'm thinking of upgrading it because I noticed that uh, when I use uh, when I used my personal phone, which is Samsung uh, S10e, and the picture quality was much better on the live stream, so most probably. Uh, the problem that I'm having with the contrast and exposure is because of the phone. And also, on my new phone, on my personal phone, I can select uh, which camera to use while, while I'm using the live streaming application. Whilst on the Note 8, I cannot select uh, the camera. It's automatically selected to the widest. Mm. No, no, shortcut. This is a desktop application. I'm using the Prism. Prism Live Studio, it's called. Okay, so we are deep in the residential areas of base water. It's quite nice, except the automatic. Uh, I don't know what they are cutting there. <laughs> Metal or tree. So here we have four same buildings next to each other. It's interesting how they made the, this, this side, they look like a house. Have you noticed how houses have a little bit of... Uh, I don't know how to not explain it. The windows are uh, built somehow outside of the wall to make more space probably. So here we have this this kind of houses, they look very much like some New York houses I've seen. Look with the, with the steps, with the stairs and the front door outside. Hi Prakash, how it's going? Oh, and here we have a very nice uh, muse. Oh, thank you, Adriana. Yeah, bay windows. Very nice. So we, they did uh, the whole building. Like, it's like, it, uh, it's, uh, like a flat, but they still made it look like a house. Uh, Artem Alexievich. No, I'm uh, from Bulgaria. So here we have some kind of church or cathedral. Let's see now what is it exactly. Oh, Moscow. This is Moscow Road, so maybe this is a Orthodox Church. Let's see. Oh, yeah, so this is a cathedral. So I thought it's a Moscow. Oh, look, but we have. A it's called Saint Sophia Greek Cathedral. Oh, okay, nice. So this is a Greek cathedral. For my Greek viewers, here we go, I found a Greek cathedral. Uh, let me cross safely to go and check. So yeah, here it is. It's, uh... Yeah, that's London. It's a Greek cathedral. So this is Orthodox Church. 
Agia Sophia. Yeah, so it's called Saint Sophia. Nice. Okay, let's continue now to our destination, Notting Hill and Portobello. Yeah, it's a uh, Greek Orthodox. And here we have some, uh, it's called Palace Court. I don't know what is it, but it looks like a... Like a residential uh, closed complex so you see it's called palace court and here i see one blue plaque let's go and see what this is about So here we have Alice uh, Mineo, something like this. Uh, it's a poet and essayist who lived here. Now it's uh, Capellania Catolica Española. Some some other things are going on. Hi, uh, Federico. Nice to see you back. How is it going? How are you? Oh yeah, uh, Rada, thanks for your comment. I hope you're gonna enjoy it. So, here we have nice, beautiful white houses down the road. And we're still on Moscow Road. And I wonder if we should go down there or we continue straight. Let me see what's going on. Okay, so it seems that if you go straight down here, uh, I think we're gonna reach Portobello Road um, a bit quicker, but uh, oh, okay, anyway, let's go here now and then we're gonna turn left uh, because I want to show you also the high street of uh, Notting Hill because we have the option to skip it. But uh, I want to show you also. Oh, let me cross the other side. Oh, you're, you're welcome, Federico. Uh, let's hope that it's gonna become a nice live stream. Oh, by the way, please like the video or share it so we can help the youtube algorithm a little bit to to promote my video more uh, before we reach uh, portobello so more people can join us So, let's see. 
And here we have uh, Prince Edward uh, pop. I will show you now. Interestingly, in this area, pops are a bit more rare than oh, thanks than usual. So we see it's totally residential area. Uh, no, not now. I'm gonna eat later when I finish. Oh, thank you, come Brits. Greetings to Bombay, India. Yeah, I just wonder if somebody uh, can please tell me: is this uh, like just one one flat or one house per entry, or or maybe few households? Uh, own to one floor because it seems like a huge house or flat to own it's like uh, one no so we have downstairs we have one two three four five uh, possibly six so about five floors and I I just wonder is this is this just uh, owned by a single household or it's a multiple household on each uh, floor. Just very interesting. If somebody uh, can please tell me. <laughs> Greetings to Sri Lanka. Thanks for joining. How is it going? Oh, I see. Yeah, because can you imagine if you actually own the whole uh, five five floors, it will be quite a big house for a single family. But also, what I noticed, uh, maybe uh, people own more space on the vertical level than horizontal so maybe you have more floors but you have just a uh, few few space on the horizontal level oh thank you thank you everybody for your help so this are a bit uh, not so tall houses, but possibly they're wider. Uh, so another day in a Porsche area. Uh, yesterday we covered Hampstead and Hampstead Heat and now we are in Bayswater, Notting Hill but uh, so far the internet connection seems to be better here than in Notting Hill uh, No, no, sorry, no, 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 Hampstead It's a beautiful day, beautiful weather, Saturday, people are enjoying it, it's very nice. So we have reached some kind of a high street or something, I think it's called uh, Westbourne. But uh, let me see, should we go this way or this way? Let me just check on the maps to see what's going on. Okay. So.
I've never come close to dating them. I think for our purpose, uh, we should go this way. Uh, along the highway, what do you prefer, the highway or the side streets? Uh, because otherwise I can just go down the road here and uh, we're going to skip the high, the high street. Yeah, Robert, very, very nice. It's the first time I've been here, actually. And I like it a lot. Okay, let's do both. We're going to cover a little bit of the high street. And we're going to turn left um, yeah, eventually. In about one, two or three. No, on the third left. We can turn left. But with this phone, I'm having constant uh, problems with my exposure and contrast. Uh, I think I need to change it urgently and buy a new one because the picture quality is much better with the new S10 or S2021. So we have some <coughs> buff furniture. Nice. It's a posh bathtub. Yeah. Okay, so I'm happy that we did uh, a little bit of side streets and now we're on the high road. And we're gonna join the, uh, the side street as well in a minute. Uh, yes, I'm heading back to Paddington, but uh, if I turn left now, I'm going to join my my plan, plant route. Uh, wait. Yeah. Oh, wait. So, yeah, we have a mistake. We have to go this way. Oh, yeah, thanks, Dave, uh, for navigating me. So, we have to go back this way. Okay. But we can do it on the side streets this time. So not to make it boring. I will use the crossroad. You see, if I had a compass, it would have been much, much easier. Because I just need the, the directions, I don't need the streets. So definitely I'm gonna order um, a compass next time. <laughs> uh, 
Hello, uh, uh, Rosene. Okay, so we're gonna do the side streets a little bit. And then we're gonna join some of the roads to to Notting Hill High Street. Let's see what's going on. Oh, the trees are blooming here, look. Nice. And here we have a Newton Medical Center. And we are on the Newton Road. No, no, I don't, I don't need a compass uh, application. I prefer the old fashioned way. Because uh, sometimes my other phone is running low on battery. Or if I use the compass just for this, uh, it may might even run faster. So I prefer to have the old fashioned compass. And here we are back to the quiet streets. Oh yeah, you see now how people live here in the posh areas. Oh, this is very interesting uh, kind of new style for me. Houses, I never seen this type of uh, house here. It uh, looks a bit different than usual. So we're gonna go back to the high street for a second and then we're gonna turn uh, left. And here we have another Franco Manca. As I said, there is not even one live, one live stream where I don't encounter one, one Franco Manca. But actually this is the second one for today. So, I came from here, I think so. And now we're going this way. But uh, I'm gonna turn left here. Because I want to, to do the Notting Hill High Street.
Here we have a beautiful gallery. Very nice from outside, but it's closed. And so I'm waiting now on the red light. And we'll cross in a minute. Uh, hello, Mr. Amar. Greetings to Thailand. How is it going? Okay, so this is the Westburn High Street. And nothing is happening, but we are still waiting. Okay, I think if TFL is looking at the moment, please fix this. It's like... Countless red lights for pedestrians and even though nothing is moving. Oh man, I have to wait now for another wave. Sorry about it, just uh, bear with me a second then with the traffic lights. Look. Oh, great, another one. Oh. Let's look around. Yeah, that's what we are leaving behind. And we are going this way now. While we are waiting, I would like to remind everybody, please hit the like button. Yeah, I'm sure most of you have already done it, but uh, I'm talking about the newcomers. It's because now we are going to Notting Hill and Portobello Road Market. It's going to be very, very interesting. So we want YouTube to promote the video to more people. So more people can join. Okay, finally after five minutes. Hello, how it's going? Hi, Tanuja. Hi from Sri Lanka, how is it going? Oh, hi there, Nuri. 
Where are you from? Actually, I want to go this way because here it's against the sun again and you won't see anything. I'm trying to find some uh, shadow. I found it. Here yeah, is much better. We can see again quite a posh area here. Here we have a Tesla Model X and uh, some kind of Mercedes. It doesn't say the model, but I, I think it's COS. Oh, okay. Nori, Nuri. Greetings to Iraq, Kurdistan. Uh, Robert, the temperature is about 12 or 13 degrees. Yeah, this winter was very, very mild and like it was warm. I remember some winters they um, there was like minus five, minus six for a very long time, like a couple of at least one month maybe. But this year the maximum minus temperature during the day was uh, about minus um, minus two, I think, or minus, minus one, and it was only for couple of hours in the morning and after that it was like zero or plus one but usually I remember a few years ago it was minus two or three for during the whole day and not, not only in the morning and how is the, is the weather now in uh, Pennsylvania Robert is getting better I, Kurt, you told me yesterday. And here we have a supercar of the old fashioned supercars. Let me show you. So, this is what you can find here those super supercars of rich people. Let's see. Wow. <laughs> what is this guys and girls? Do you know it? Oh, okay, so it's not too bad. It's like 12 degrees. But do you mean minus 12 or, or just 12? Because if it's 12, it's fine. It's like, it's like now. It's like right here. So, wow, you can smell this kind of uh, old smell of uh, old furniture or something. And also I can smell the, the petrol. Very nice. Yeah, so let's go. Okay, so... Oh, so if it's just 12, it's amazing. It's like, uh, it's like here. The winter is over for you. Congratulations. <laughs> so...
So let's see here. Wow, look at the houses here. Let me. It's a very nice stretch of houses. But uh, we're against the sun again one more time. Okay, let's go this way. Oh. I'm just trying to avoid walking against the sun. Because, uh, as I said, my camera's HDR functionality is non non-existent. So, if I just walk against the sun, you won't see anything. Oh, and now, and now we have a bad internet connection, so I guess nothing is perfect. I sit here. Okay, so I guess nothing is perfect. I would rather have bad internet connection or the sun against me. Sorry about the internet connection. Okay, I think now it's uh, better. Very, very nice area. Hello. Sorry, I cannot read your name. But uh, I guess you are from Greece. Just uh, bear with me until I finish this uh, street. And then we're gonna join the Notting Hill. Oh wow, lots of vegetation here. Oh, Athens. Nice, nice. Greetings to Athens, then. Okay, so we have almost reached the main street of Porto Bello. It's just uh, here on the right. Oh, look at this car! It's driven by a woman. Nice. Okay, so this is Notting Hill now. Very Notting Hill. And now, actually, we missed the high street of Notting Hill but uh, we're gonna join now the Portobello road so I think nobody will complain too much about Notting Hill but uh, I mean Portobello road is still part of Notting Hill so we are going there Please, uh, now is the moment to share the video and like it because uh, we want as many people as possible to join it. And here we are, this is Portobello Road. We are at the beginning of Portobello Road. Uh, the market won't start immediately from here. We have to walk another 10 minutes uh, to get to the market. But uh, that's the, the, the beginning of the road here. 
Uh, here we have a nice uh, restaurant. Which is closed. I expect to see lots of people today. Oh yeah, definitely. I can see already crowds from here. <laughs> so I can imagine uh, I can imagine what's going to be actually there in the market. It's going to be similar to last week's uh, tour of Boro Market, I guess. But with the difference is that uh, this is on the street, so there won't be any queues and uh, restrictions of people where to move. Yeah. Uh, Nuri Portobello is it's a very, very nice place. Although, some people who used to go there during uh, like a few years ago, they say that it has changed now for the worse. Because before it was kind of antiques market, but now it's not only antiques but also other low quality goods and <laughs> for the high price as well so that's a little bit of what i heard but uh, i haven't been here during those old times so i cannot really see the difference for me but uh, let's just explore how it is And here we have the pictures, uh, different color houses. Yeah, yeah, uh, exactly. Many people who lived here in these times, they say that it's changed so much. It's gonna be very, very busy. Another friendly couple. They were smiling at me. Okay, now we're about to join it. To, uh, this is the very beginning of the market now. After I cross the road, it's where it starts. And here it is, the first business is, uh, uh, it says cuisine, but I don't know what is it exactly. Here we have uh, Jesse Western, closed. So yeah, most of the businesses will be closed. 
So maybe it won't be so crowded as I expected. Yeah, possibly, Adriana. And especially when here the businesses are open until late. Here, this area attracts lots of uh, artistic people. So you see some of the shops, front stores or restaurants or something. They are very artistically decorated or painted. But it's not as busy as I expected what I saw from, from the beginning of the street. But we will see. It gets uh, more, more condensed while we, we go down. But uh, what I can tell you is that usually here there are uh, stalls. And you can even see merchants here on, on this on the exact place where I, where I walk now. Uh, these doors are places for stalls. But uh, apparently they are not allowed to go now, so... It's gonna be an empty street. With uh, just a little bit of people. No, so definitely nothing compared to a borough market and what we saw last week. Most of the businesses are closed, it's only fast food and some restaurants are open for takeaway. But everything else... Thank you, uh, Ari. Greetings. Uh, greetings from where? Can you please remind me? Uh, you sound very familiar to me, but I, I forgot where I'm from. And here we have a silver fox. Hot, uh, hot chocolate and juices. Antiques market. So here we have a couple of vendors selling antiques. Uh, but I guess it was uh, more common in the old good days to see antiques here. Because I think it originated like an antiques market uh, originally. So, And look here, they have turned this uh, telephone box into a cash machine and they left this uh, telephone outside so this is the telephone that you usually see inside uh, it uses coins and here we have a public toilet uh, you put a little bit of coin maybe 20 or 50 and the worst thing is that uh, if you have about uh, one or two minutes <laughs> to finish your job and if you don't finish it, the door, the door will open. So it's, we can imagine quite a lot of stress if you want to do more important stuff. Yeah. Hi, Kana. Trinidad. Greetings to Trinidad. How it's going? Okay, so we are reaching now the the places where 
the usual food stall uh, operate. So maybe they are the only ones which are allowed to open. And I can see huge, huge crowds over there. And we can see a little bit of crowd here. So let's see, let's join this uh, other part of the food stalls. Uh, look, I don't know if this is uh, vandalism or somebody actually asked them to do a little bit of uh, graffiti. So we are joining now the food stalls. and some uh, fast food as well. And here it's really busy. So near, we are nearly reaching the, the same stage as Boro Market. Oh, thank you, NS. Yeah, masks are not mandatory outside. But 99% uh, of the people wear them when they should wear them, like in public transport. So... And here we have a very, very nice uh, pub here, which sells also other, sp I don't know, what does it say? London Spirit. All right, Valdi. Greetings to Brazil. <laughs> so let's see what's going on here. Okay, so it's not as bad as it looks from uh, over there. I've seen it busier in the summer, last summer. So what's this one? Oh, rice. We have fruit stall here. We have a bakery. And some other shops, uh, souvenir and gift shops here. I have bought uh, a few stuff from this fruit store. It's very, very nice. It's uh, good quality fruits and vegetables. Recommended. So we have some muse here, I guess. Very colorful. We have grapes, lime, some garden vegetables. Face masks. So let's go this part here. <coughs> yeah, it's busy, but uh, 
most of the businesses are closed, so it could be even busier. Yes, yeah, this is Porto Bello. Let's uh, cross now. And here we have a huge hole in the middle of the road. Let's see. Mm, nice. Solid infrastructure. Here we have uh, Snappy Snaps. And a huge hole in the middle of the road. So we have to go, let's go this way. They are being, doing very, very big uh, construction works here, road works. I mean, that's no road, road work, it's uh, rather infrastructure uh, improvement. But they just need to dig up the road. This is uh, Lancaster Road with some interesting paintings. Uh, we have the colorful houses, let's go there. We're gonna join it back. Uh, I just wanted to show you this uh, call for houses. So yeah, here we have some colorful houses. It's like a tradition for people to paint their houses different bright and picturesque colors. The greetings to South Africa, how it's going there? Oh, Richard Foley, thanks for your comment. And uh, how was it? Did you like it? Okay, so we see lots of people are taking pictures here at the steps of the different houses. And unfortunately for the people who live there, <laughs> uh, as I told you, many people here don't put uh, curtains on the, on the windows. So, Probably they become part of the of the pictures of the people. And here we have one one skater going on skating. Let's see. It's probably very good. Yeah. So. Oh, I see. Sorry about it.
So yeah, it looks like many many people uh, turned right here uh, just to come and see the houses, and now they are joining back as me. Oh, nice. Okay, so we are going back to Portobello Road. And it's already 2 p.m. I usually start about this time. So today I started a bit earlier. I hope all my usual viewers who joined this time were able to join me as well. Okay, so we're back in the crowd. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Friendly girls. Oh, I see. Wow, it was a long, long time ago. Oh wait, it's a music here, I need to mute Oh, sorry, I had to mute the microphone because uh, somebody was, was playing loud music. Uh, Costo, <laughs> what is this? Oh, Sanya, greetings to Pakistan. Okay, so we have almost reached the, the end of the Portobello. Let me show you now what was in the back. Hi auntie, thank you. How are you? How is Cambridge? So it seems that this part is even busier than all other parts. Wow. So we have uh, Fala, Portuguese. Oh, sorry. And here we have the Endless queues. I'm not going to go there because uh, there's no point. But you can see.
I give you a little bit. So yeah, that's uh, basically more or less the, the end of the market. And here we have uh, Paella. Nice. Un colega me envió es una foto de que hay un mural outside. Yeah, very, very nice food. But imagine you have to queue there for, I don't know, maybe at least 30 minutes. So let's see the maps and we decide what's going to do next. Uh, we can go this way. Okay, let's go this way. Oh yeah, definitely. I can imagine that uh, it was much, much busier here uh, in the 70s and 80s. So let's go this way. This is another part of Notting Hill. Or maybe... Mm, no, actually... Just a second, please... No, actually, let's go back... To... The... Let's go back to Porto Bello because I think it was very quick. Uh, we we'll have to spare more time. Yeah, yeah, I agree. It's very nice here. So let's have another quick view here. Here as well, and now we're gonna continue on this road here. Yeah. Oh, 
Okay, so let's go this road. So we're gonna explore now a little bit of uh, Notting Hill. Here we see quite a lot of people in Portobello Green. Yeah, posh cars, lots of them. <laughs> this one was in a real hurry. And here we have one among the posh cars, one nice Fiat. I don't know if it's Polski, but <laughs> yeah, possibly, yes. So this is uh, Ladbro Grove. Yeah, it's still locked down. Officially. So let's go this way. Yeah, definitely it's, it's become spring now. Yeah, Richard, it's time to enjoy it so much. It's been like this for about one week now. Uh, no wind, no rain, no clouds, just sunny. Uh, just sunny and like above 12 degrees. Uh, let's go to White City.
Wait. Just a second, I need to look at the map. No, it's here. Just a second, please. Okay, so I found it. I, I remember what I was doing. Okay, we see lots of graffiti. <laughs> and I want to cross, but let's see. Oh yeah, yeah. B -O B -A I G bus. What is this? <laughs> I think it sounds familiar to me, but this is the company B I G bus. Okay, so we have a crossroad here, which is good. Oh yeah, Portugal. Greetings to Portugal. So here I have to use the map a little bit more often because this is totally new area for me. Uh, other areas I know them more or less, but this one. Okay, so we're gonna turn now right on the next turn. Are we sure? Just bear with me. We're gonna go to White City. Here we have some other colorful buildings but not as much as the other one just one color here here we have Amazon Prime delivery 100% uh, electric do you think so? I cannot believe this one Okay, so here is nothing special, just uh, residential area houses on both sides, but we are going to White City. Quite uh, big houses. What do you think?
Uh, hi, Martin Osborne. But I think you are mistaken. me. I'm not FOSS. <laughs> FOSS is uh, another channel. It's a lot more. Oh, really? So we turn right here. Oh, greetings to Hrvatska and uh, hello to Eva. Nice day, yeah, it's amazing. Uh, Richard, I'm not sure, I guess it's most flat, this, uh, this area here. And uh, I asked a few of my viewers, they replied, but uh, I think you know as well. So maybe I will ask you, do you think that uh, those flats here, for example, 81, is owned, all the three stories is owned by one household, or they have, uh, like, each household has its own flat uh, floor, on each flat, on each floor, <laughs> sorry. So I'm just wondering if uh, one household owns the whole uh, building, or it's just a couple of households own it. Uh, yes, of course. This is a live stream now. Interesting because it it looks like a very very huge uh, property to own, but maybe it's owned by different households. And here, I can assure you that the the, the air is very very good. Like. Uh, I think it's a bit better than central London. And here we have again beautiful uh, trees along. Beautiful and huge trees. Look, it's like uh, very, very old trees and they're gonna have some leaves in a few months. And this area will be covered in like a shadow. So when it gets so hot, we can have some shadow here. So it's going to be even more beautiful than now. Uh, hi Irina, I'm going to White City. Hello. Uh, greetings to Japan, Hisao. Yeah, Audi. I guess that's what people like here. Yeah. And this area is definitely beautiful. It's my first time ever here, but it's I like it. It's so calm and quiet. And look at these houses here. So, this is uh, Chesterton Road. Let's go. Oh, thank you so much, Con. I'm happy. And this, this looks amazing. It's like. You don't live, it's like it's not London, it's like uh, some village in the countryside. Uh, 
Uh, let me see. And here with those uh, little roundabouts, green roundabouts, it looks like a little bit of like uh, Belgium to me. I remember I lived in Belgium and they have lots of those uh, roundabouts which were green and very well maintained. Okay, so let's continue this way. As you see, those trees here, they are just ready to, to grow their leaves and to make some shadow. Uh, we can definitely come here one more time in the, in the summer to check how, is, how does it look with leaves. Oh, nice. I think even in those times, uh, 60s and 70s, this area was probably even better to live. And especially with these huge houses and... Uh, yeah, I think it must have been very, very good life for them. So I know if I'm looking for our next flat, it's gonna be here. <laughs> Have to check the prices first. Oh, you're welcome, uh, Nivia Mendes. That's the that's the purpose. I hope that everybody is enjoying it and. I will improve my quality slowly, slowly. My next step is to buy a new uh, phone which supports a 5G network because my, my mobile data is already 5G but because my phone doesn't support it, I cannot use it. So once I upgrade my phone we will, we will get both a uh, better internet connection and much, much better picture quality because of the, of the cameras. So yeah, this is like a four years old model. And if I get the new, newest one, I think it's gonna be even better. Hi. Uh, greetings to Spain, how is it going? Hi Katie, how is it going in the US? And which style? Anybody please if you can answer. Uh, which style is those are those houses here on the left? I I have researched them, like Georgia, Victorian, and uh, one more I think it was. But honestly, I forgot them so quickly. I I still make a, like mistake on them. And so I'm not sure which style is this one, architecture style. Rentals, oh yeah, for rentals, uh, bike rentals here are very, very easy. You, you can do it through application. There are many of them now, it's electric bikes. Or you can hire or rent uh, the normal ones. They are part of the transport for London. It's called uh, Santander bikes. And yeah. It's all, all automatically, you can do it uh, through your phone 
or uh, there are some terminals you can buy uh, like a pass. Okay, so this is another Renault. Renault, I don't know. Renault, I guess. Oh, wait, there's a. Oh, all right, uh, thank you so much, Robert. So it's Edwardian, Edward from Edwards. Okay, okay. Okay, no problem. Uh, I'll turn left soon. Oh, some of the people still have the Christmas decoration, Christmas lights on the bush. And here we have another nice open area. And I can see one more uh, like antique car and actually I'm gonna go there and uh, show it to you. It looks like a Batman car. Okay, so this looks like a proper 1920s or 30s car. Oh my god, look at this one. It's a whole little treasure I found here. Thank you, Ashe. Please hit the like button, everybody, for the car and subscribe. You don't see this very often. This is a proper Batman car. Look at this one. Which which year is this from? And also, does anybody know the, the make or the or the brand? Are you welcome, Luisa? Please everybody subscribe just for the car. <laughs> so you don't miss uh, any future videos like this yeah so it doesn't say anything about the model uh, maybe let's see from inside oh but it's on the other side. oh look it's from the left nothing also inside I have no idea, what is it? Maybe <laughs> it's custom made. Okay, let's go.
Oh no, the sirens again. Opposite. No, but against me. Oh, thank you so much, uh, Shane. All right, thank you so much for letting us know. So it's 50s, all right. That, it looked like a bit older, but I think 50s is also quite old already. Okay. Uh, actually, I would like to finish the stream here because uh, if I head down this road, uh, we're gonna go just uh, up against the sun and we won't see anything, unfortunately. So, yeah, I, I think I suggest let's finish the uh, live stream here and we'll, we'll do another one soon. We'll see maybe tomorrow. And uh, yeah, I would like to thank everybody for being with me today. It was uh, lots of fun. I enjoyed walking. We explored together uh, Notting Hill, Portobello Road, Bayswater. And uh, yeah. Thank you, everybody. Please don't forget to hit the like button at least, or subscribe as well. And uh, if you're not sure, you can just go and uh, check my channel and watch my other videos. So yeah, all, all the best to everybody and uh, have a nice day or evening or morning. And uh, yeah, take care and uh, see you next time. Goodbye.